or like 50 baht. So we eat medicine like this. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Sam and you are watching Sam in Thailand. So I'm an expat who lives in Isan and make videos about life in a Thai village. So if you guys are interested in watching videos about Isan, do subscribe to my channel. So in today's video, I will show you guys like what's the inflation right now in Thailand. So as you will know, in most of the European countries, the inflation is somewhere around 7%. But in Thailand, the inflation is only like 0.5% right now. So on the papers, the inflation is very low in Thailand. So I will take you to the local market today and I will show you guys like what's the prices of the thing right now and I will compare it to like what was the price uh, in the past year and before that as well so this video will help you understand like what's the cost of living in Thailand in the year 2023 so let's get started to the video and let's go to the local market so we headed to the market at around 8 in the morning and you can see like what's the traffic around in the morning if you don't know uh, in most of the Isan cities, uh, the shops get closed in the evening. So if you think you can go to like market during the evening time to escape the heat, you cannot do so because like most of the shops in Isan in near small cities close around like 5 or 6 in the evening. So uh, if you want to go to the market, morning is the right time to go to the market. Now I'm going to show you some scenes from the local market to give you an idea about the prices right now. So as you can see the clothes are still selling for like 50 baht, uh, 20 baht for children, 25 baht. So the prices of the clothes are still very cheap in Thailand and if I compare it to like last year, the prices are kind of similar when it comes to clothes. In the later half of the video I will show you guys what's the prices of clothes inside a mall as well but as you can see the prices are not very expensive in the flea markets and like small markets around the towns and like you can get good enough clothes for you know, like very reasonable price over here now if you wonder why do I go to like open markets like this one like farmers market or flea market so the thing is that uh, these markets are kind of a nice place to get whatever type of things you want from clothes to vegetables to fruits easily so like many local people around the village kind of go to these kind of markets to like buy the product so that is why I also kind of go to these markets now you can find like cheap plastic products like buckets and something like that for like 10 baht 20 baht as well over here so these toys are uh, toys are like 20 baht in this market so you can find like cheap products in a market like this even even in the market the prices are not going to be very different so i think the inflation is like uh, very low right now in thailand because if i compare to the prices from the last year for uh, almost everything the prices are kind of same and now talking about like slippers shoes something like that so as you will see these children's shoes were like 60 baht and for adults you can find for like 100 baht 79 baht and so on and for 1 kg of mango the price is like 20 baht so you can see that's the price of banana 15 baht for a pack so so the prices are kind of like this right now and i don't think they have increased or decreased anyway about like fruits and vegetables they are kind of same right now uh, like they used to be before now at this local flea market or like farmers market there is like one shop as well they kind of sell products uh, at a very good discount so as you will see that's a detergent pack 3 kg for like 100 baht and yeah the prices are kind of reasonable and they have been uh, like same for a long time now talking about the food stalls like some still sell the food for like 20 baht 10 baht and like a single meatball also like it still costs 5 baht so there has been no increase in the price of the meatballs this is not the meatballs but i'm just mentioning them right now um, this was like 20 baht and 7 baht for like for the vegetables for the salad now these are the different different types of fried bananas and 
we bought like 20 baht and you can see the quantity that they provided so the prices are still around the same and you can still get good enough food for like 20 baht over here in Thailand and if you want some meal um, you can find a good enough meal for like 30 baht like chicken with rice or something like that it's like uh, some noodles I saw at the market were selling for like only 15 baht as well Now talking about the fruits as you can see mango teen is selling for like 35 baht for a kilo and rambutan is selling for like 35 baht for a kilo as well so most of the fruits are going to be around this range right now and like these these fruits are kind of delicious as well so mango teen is kind of like sweet and sour while rambutan is a sweet fruit and i kind of like rambutan uh, more than other fruits in thailand so to be clear like most of the meals you can still find for 30 baht 40 baht in thailand so some prices may have increased for some meals uh, but for most of the meals the prices are still uh, very cheap in thailand as you can see these are the food items at the big c and they are also selling for like 50 60 baht so anyway so as you can see this is like a chicken and you can check out the prices of the chickens as well according to their weight so i find the prices to be reasonable in big c that's why i like to come over here and these are like ready to eat meals and sometimes they kind of put discount and the prices can be low as like 15 baht 20 baht as well for like ready to eat meals over in big c and these are the prices for like meat and you can see what's the prices for beer over here so i think beer prices also have not increased a lot for like past two three years and as you can see there's the prices of clothes inside the mall as well so you can still find like um, 100 baht clothes inside the mall right now as well and for like tea or something the prices are still starting from like 20 baht as they used to two years back the iced teas of thailand are very delicious and they are worth a try now talking about the oil prices the diesel is around 32 baht right now and for like e91 the price is around 36 baht and for like e20 the price is like uh, 33 baht somewhere around that range so if you want to know about like what's the difference between the oil so e20 is like 20 percent ethanol blended oil so mostly the price of oil is like one us dollar for a liter so doesn't matter which uh, which oil are you buying like diesel uh, can be a little bit less than a dollar uh, petrol can be like e91 or e20 can be somewhere around a dollar as well overall i overall i find the prices to be like around same as well like they used to be and i don't see a lot of difference so yeah if you come to thailand you will notice this thing as well uh, for some food items in like tourist places that uh, the prices can increase as well but like in villages i find the prices to be around kind of same like some companies can increase price but when we talk about overall prices of the things i don't see a huge difference in them but one thing to know right now is like it's kind of very hot in thailand right now and it's not raining a lot as well even though it's like a rainy season right now but it's still not raining as you can see it's uh, there are so many clouds but th there is very little rain this year and it's not easy um, because of the uh, so much heat so if you are planning to come to thailand right now you should know these things that um, these days are kind of hot look like she not good with mom you know she it look like own style <coughs> so we so we eat medicine like this mm -hmm. so this grandmother is eating medicine from this plant this is for like stomach uh -huh. so there are some kids over there riding their bicycles 
Diao. So juice comes like this. Pine eye. So guys, I will end this video over here and I hope you found this informative. If you found this informative, do give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace.